Hey guys, the following is a quote from Jason regarding his departure from Nirvana. It's not clear when Jason said the following, but I believe it's from an interview with journalist Jillian G. Gar. Jason's final performance with Nirvana took place on July 18, 1989 in New York City at the Pyramid Club. It was not scheduled to be the last show of that tour. However, Jason's relationship with the band had deteriorated to the point where after the New York show, the band ended up turning around and heading back to Seattle. The following quote is from Jason Everman. Quote, I remember by the time we got to the Northeast, things were strained. I'm generally quiet by nature, but was probably talking less by that point. The fact that there was a lack of communication during these last days of that tour is probably the salient feature of that event. I was definitely done, and I told Chad and most likely those same words. I'm sure Kurt and Chris were done as well. The he said, she said quality of these accounts are obvious and tired. I think that the most objective way to sum it up is that it was implicitly mutual. I didn't think that the Pyramid show would be my last show with Nirvana, however. I assumed that we would suck it up and finish the tour. What stands out most for me in retrospect was when they dropped me off in the alley behind my house in Seattle, I didn't believe I would see any of those guys again, even Chad, and I was at peace with that. I went into my room, dropped my pack and guitar on the floor, and just felt completely relieved. In a sense, I was free. Chad, who is a great songwriter in his own right, had a song idea that was summarily dismissed. After that, I didn't really consider throwing any of my ideas into the ring. I always felt kind of peripheral. Basically, anybody besides Kurt or Chris is kind of disposable. At the end of the day, Kurt could get in front of any bass player or any drummer and play his songs and it's not going to sound that much different. I think the musical artistic difference was a friction point between us and probably something that would have most likely led to me leaving the band at a later time anyway. That and the fact that I would have been shut out creatively. I think that the popular narrative is that I was this knuckle-dragging heavy metal guy who just didn't get it. But that's not an accurate assessment. At the end of the day, I just wasn't a good fit for Nirvana. And this is borne out in the way events took place. I never look back on the split with regret, and conversely, I appreciate the experiences that I had with Nirvana, both the good and the bad. I have always owned the decisions which entail far more intrinsic gravity than playing with a certain rock and roll band or not.